Francis, his son Giles, and the three sailors from Ark Royal slipped quietly into Plymouth at midnight. Since the naval team went aboard, Sir Francis had stayed most of the time on his bunk, leaving the handling of the boat to his new crew. This morning he had a lie-in before emerging, grinning hugely, close to lunchtime. Outwardly, he showed no ill effects from the voyage, but the Navy team had brought him back at speed, 320 miles in 36 hours. Sir Francis had started to limp home last week after a pain-killing injection he gave himself caused hallucinations, but a snapped mizzen mast caused when a French weather ship went close to him to see if he needed rescuing effectively put him out of action. His efforts to repair it and the buffeting he took in the heavy seas exhausted him. First ashore was Giles, still in his blazer and tie that he was wearing at the Henley Regatta before the Navy put him on to Gypsy Moth. Was his father glad to see him? Marge, that had stood by through the morning, took Sir Francis straight to the Naval Hospital across the Tamar. After a preliminary examination, the doctors reported no serious injuries, but said Sir Francis had been in considerable pain. They say that he needs complete rest for the next 48 hours and that he'll be in hospital perhaps a week. Giles Chichester maintains the family had no reservations about his father attempting the Atlantic crossing single-handed at his age, 70. Although, before he sailed two weeks ago, Sir Francis had been suffering from arthritis and anemia. The veteran yachtsman declined an ADC's arm to lean on, and far from considering immediate retirement, briefed the crew who'd brought him back on some of his ideas for further long-distance, single-handed sailing. 